So today I want to give an example for all of you internet guys who are on forums complaining that Snowtrax TV doesn't like Skidoo's Fortec motor. We do like the Fortec motor. What we don't like is the throttle lag. So today I want to explain and show visually what we think the throttle lag is and why it's not good. And I've got three four strokes and one two stroke sled here lined up to visually give you a graphic representation of what's going on. Let's start with Arctic Cat's F1100. When I flip the throttle on this sled, the motor revs quickly and the sled does not lurch forward. No brakes. That's the way it should work. Now a Yamaha Apex. Same story. No brakes. Immediate throttle response. No lag. Now let's move on to the Fortec. This is a Fortec GTX SE. If I blip the throttle, the sled lurches forward. You can see from the time I blip the throttle till the time the sled moves, there's a measurable distance of time in there that's not right, but the sled also lurches every time I flip the throttle. If I hold the brake, you can hear the time it takes from when I flip the throttle till the revs rise. That is the throttle leg. And as an example, here we have an 800 E-Tech two-stroke. This sled, no throttle leg, immediate throttle response. That's what we're talking about. 